it's just day one of uh, the obvious coronavirus and being off work for me. It would normally be my day off, but shop's now shut. All my events have been cancelled. Uh, heading up, up to a local cairn. This is slightly uneven would be just a bit of an understatement. <laughs> I've got to keep my eyes on where my feet are going here. This is just loads of here's another one. Watering it basically. <laughs> this is how you social distance yourself. Just make sure if you go for a run, you're not any closer than I am to anyone else. <laughs> Gates attached, guns right through puddles and heather and bugs and all sorts. Uh, grip's been really good. Let's have a look. So that's got the graphene grip, the rock light sole, um, feet are totally dry, so the Gore Tex is working, and having the gauge wrong has stopped any bits going in over the top. Good tip when you're putting on a gator make sure you put the gator on before you put your shoe on don't put your shoe on and then try and put the gator over it it's a lot easier if you put the gator on put your shoe on and then attach the gator over it that way much simpler so off in the distance behind us over that way just about to see some trees and another another hill and a gap through the trees up there's another cairn and that can, randomly enough, when you get to the top of that one, it's got a kettle on the top. <laughs> no idea why, but a rusted old kettle. Not a modern day Morphe Richards job. It's a different type. And there's cans all over the place here. Uh, nobody ever comes up here though. So you can go to this can, there's another can. Over there where the snow is. Down by the trees, that way there's another one. Down this way you've got Cairngorm Mountains off in the distance with the animal down below. I think I'm going to enjoy being off. What colours you got here? Totally green. Move. Couple of feet this way. <laughs> so I'm sure there's a bit of thing to it, just red stuff. down off the tops now so wind's not as not as bad down here now that I'm in the trees time to shed a layer before a roast Whew. so what's this Patagonia it's a, it's a, I can never remember is it a nano puff or a micro puff it's something puff anyway and it packs down super small 
keeps you warm when you need it to. So this UD pack uh, mountain vest is loads of room in the back. So shove that in there. I can fit the kitchen sink in this pack, literally. So get that zipped up. Pack back on. I haven't paused my watch once during this, so it's going to look like I've done it's like 20 minute miles because <laughs> it keeps stopping. Uh, hat can come off. Hat can go in one of these many pockets. Shove it in that one. Get these, as you, can, as you can see, which I didn't do that on purpose just then, but uh, you can always see the water on the top. And it's pretty muddy, uh, but these rock light soles, they've done really well. I've been actually surprised at how much I've, I've liked these mids. Uh, they've just stopped at anything going in over the top, um, especially with having the gaiters on. And the Gore-Tex liners worked a treat. My feet are bone dry. Normally when I do this run, uh, I just accept I'm going to get really cold, wet feet. But... Not today. Woohoo! So remember, take care out there, follow the government advice, and if you can get out for a run, brilliant, get out for a run. Uh, just keep your distance from other people. And I'll see you next Monday. Hope you enjoyed uh, the run today.